Okay, friends, I am back and we are here reviewing a new show, not a new show to Netflix, but a new show for this channel and it's Too Hot to Handle USA or the USA version, but they invite many of people around the world and um, they are on season three. It is on Netflix. So if you haven't seen the show, of course, they lure them in, telling them that they're going to have a wonderful summer with all of these beautiful people. And it's a whole bait and switch. And you know, like I say, beauty is definitely in the eye of the beholder. So I don't think everybody on the show is beautiful, but they have some beautiful parts. Let's just say that. So this one, I am definitely going to be getting into my notes because I went through episodes one to three and I will just um, get through it as I get through it. <laughs> All right, friends. Okay. They find out that they are not on Pleasure Island and that they are on Too Hot to Handle. And they're pissed. Of course they're pissed. They allure them into having this party and they're touching and fondling and kissing and this and that. I would be pissed too. And as a matter of fact, I don't know if they give them the option of going home after they find out that they're there because they definitely don't tell us or let us know if they have the option uh, if that's going to happen. But, you know, I don't know. Maybe these people need the money. A couple of people said that they don't care about the money. They're going to do what they're going to do. But you got to have somebody to do it with. So if the other person cares about the money, they're probably not going to do it with you. Me, at this point in my life, um. Um, you got to divide that money, um, that um, ending money amongst the people that are left or among the people that are left. So I might just get it in. So um, episode one, um, Georgia, she's a girl from Australia. And she is a beautiful girl. And there's only 10 of them at this point. There's five girls. There's five guys. And three of the guys are into this one girl. So one is like, how are the other girls feeling that doesn't have the other two? So then there's two of them just like, okay, I'm here. And um, these three guys that's, um, you know, fondling all over are falling all over her because they weren't fondling all over her. They were falling all over. But anyway, it happened. That was pretty much the first night. They kind of get their, they have a party and, you know, they allude them that they're going to have like all of this fun and this and the other. But nevertheless, toward the end of the episode, if you've seen the show, this is a review. So she should have seen the show. They tell them this, that, and the other. And you know what? She got three guys falling over her. I can see it. Okay, fine. Episode two. Um, Jazz and Truth. Jazz, she is so into Truth, a.k.a. Robert, or Robert, a.k.a. Truth, but he's so into Izzy, and I forget. Let me go back real quick. Izzy and Georgia seem to think, you know what, I am going to have the time of my life. I am going to do what I'm going to do. And of course, they kiss one another. And when you get to episode two, at least three of the guys, especially the ones that are into her, uh, and, and true, so maybe four, are into it. Um, Patrick, the guy from Hawaii, he's not into it. He feels like, oh my God, you deceived me. Is this, is that? There's usually always one of them. Um, and like I said, beauty is definitely in the eye of the beholder. But anyway, that happens. And let's see. Oh, yeah. And, um, oh, yeah. Patrick's not having the kiss. And um, some of the others think that all is fair in losing money. And 
The sad thing is, is that this show happens the way it happens all the time. And they, um, the producers or whomever of the show says that the people of this third season didn't see the second season because once the second season aired, they were already filming the third season. And here's my deal is that if they're truly there to win the money, I don't know if it should be a group kind of fun because you just don't know. Everybody's money not the same. Like there could be somebody there. And even though they're in their 20s, some of these people are already making six-figure salaries when they get out of college, if they win. Um, and that money may not be as important to them as some others. So maybe they should think about just doing an individual thing and then having people come in to be temptress. It's an idea. Um, I don't know. But anyway, it happens the way it happens. And let me just stay on the strip because I don't want to make this video way longer than it is because you guys, um, your attention span is not that long. Let me tell you. So, let's see. They get into the first workshop. And, of course, it's an intimate workshop. They're on top of one another. They're this, they're that. And, you know, I'm a big believer of touch. I don't like you touching me now. For the people that know me, if you're watching this, don't get it twisted. Now, if you're in intimate situations and you're trying to build a relationship with someone, yes, you got to get. And then touch is your love language. Then, yes, let's do it. But on a regular basis, don't just fucking come, don't just come up behind me and try giving me a massage. I don't like it and you know I don't like you in my space. But anyway, as a, as for a regular person, in a regular situation, that was too close for comfort. But if we're trying to build something, then yes, I, I, I'm down for it. So, um... That happens. Um, Patrick sets up a little date for Georgia, which I thought was cute. And he plays the guitar and sings to her. He doesn't have the perfect singing voice. I'll say that. Or to me. To each his own. And, but I said it was horrible but cute. Um... At the end, he goes, I love you. So she definitely wasn't feeling him that much anyway. And then to hit the I love you on the end and it's like day two or as it is at least episode two. It could be day three. You know, we don't get to see it every time. Anyway, no, no. And I know you got to move fast when you on these type of shows. But that's too fast. You can't, like, confess your love for somebody. It screams stalkerish. It screams, it, like, the red flags are so there that even if she was physically attracted to you, it's no more. It's no more. So, as they do this, of course, Steven is overlooking or Steve Ann is overlooking the day. And now he acts like he needs to try harder. And he does it. But I don't know if he's really starting to succeed at it. Let's get on into the episode. Because I know he doesn't. And um, at this certain point though. I like them together. Like their dynamic was good. He has this bad boy thing. She's into it. I'm personally not. But anyway it worked for them. Um, at the end of episode two, and they didn't even show how many kisses Holly and, um, oh, the really tall one. I can't even think of his name right now. They had seven rule breaks in addition to two others from other folk. And, like, by episode two, they've already broken the rules eight times. So, episode three comes on and they're confessing the rule breaks or whatever. Because Lana, she greets them in the morning. If you don't know who Lana is, she's the cone person. Like, kind of like, like 
and Alexa that lets everybody know what's going on in the villa that they did wrong the next day. So, um, and you should know because this is a review. So, um, they're all confessing their sins and people are pissed. And Patrick being one of them. Like, here's the thing. Like, most of the time, the person that's getting the least amount of action is the person that's pissed the most. And you know what? I probably would be too if I was that person. Because if I'm not getting in on it, then stop losing my money. So, Jazz is pissed because Izzy tells that she kissed... Um, truth at the truth was the partner with her in the um, team building exercise and our team building workshop and he's confessing all these things to her like here's the thing there's only 10 of you you're in a you're in a confined space for lack of better words because I can't think of one right now you're not getting away the truth truth aka Robert or aka truth is gonna come out so all the games that you play in real life where you can escape some of these things or these people aren't gonna see one another or things are not gonna be um blurted out confess or the situation won't arise is going to happen going to happen here so don't do it don't do it and i truth is just messy at this point and i forget the points that um he's messy about but you know this because you watched the episode georgia is rethinking her choice about Stefan. of course she is because now he getting all mushy mushy and he's giving that parts of her that women seem to think that oh my god yeah i want a bad guy but you bad guy but you want the good parts of him most of these people are usually in their 20s and they're usually in their early to middle 20s and she's still at the point where she's having fun because trust me five years from now that's the guy that she's going to want. And that guy probably isn't going to exist in him because of the way that women like her is treating him. And I'm not saying anything of the sorts. I've just seen it a time. And then they figure like, oh my God, you're supposed to be a grown man and this, that, the other. But when these things are, maybe he was just approaching the wrong woman at the wrong time. I mean... It is what it is, but trust me, Georgia, you're going to want exactly that in the future. But it's neither here nor there. You guys can talk about me in the comments. I'll read them. Um, of course, we're in episode three. We're midway. And you know what? There is time for some new blood. And you know what? The new blood comes in. And again, beauty is definitely in the eye of the beholder. It truly is. We all are different and unique and beautiful in our own way. And these people, they come in and you know what? They get to choose somebody for a date. You know how it works because you watch the show. So, Anyway, it all happens. They having their dates. They tell them that they're all too hot to handle. They know exactly what it is. Everybody saw season one because we were all quarantined in 2020. <laughs> so anyway, that happened. And um, let's see. <sighs> the new guy chooses jazz. And Truth makes some kind of smart-ass comment. And that's fine. It's like, you know what? If you want to have options, that's fine. The way you go about having options is not the way that you should have went about having the options. But, okay, it's whatever. You were stringing a woman along, but you weren't stringing her all alone as well as you thought you were. Maybe in time, you can finesse your finessing. Um... Um, they felt that the new people on the date and that the date they on um, was too hot to handle. I said that. 
um, Georgia lets Stefan know she wants space. So now, either she's feeling somebody else, and I don't know. Like I said, I like them together. Um, he kind of like want to get like, you know, you're only there. It's probably like, I don't know, seven or eight, 10 weeks. You know, you got to move fast. And that that's the other thing. And I talk about this when it comes to dating shows all the time. If you don't put the people in the same area, most of the time they just want to have a good time. Because as we see from season two, like you can visit once or twice, but if no one's willing to give, it's not going to work. And you know what? It was a good time. It was a good experience. We got a show out of it. There you go. Um... They come back from the dates. A lot of the people, especially the people that um, had interest in the folks that was originally there, that went on the dates, thought that, oh my God, the dates are just too long. I don't know what the hell going on. Um, they need to get back. Well, they come back. Um, you know, they kind of like talk about what's going on, this, that, the other, the episodes. And, and you know what, friends? Don't forget to like comment and subscribe and if you want to be notified every time i post another video just hit the notification bell it's somewhere on the screen i don't know where it is remember to um it's not the wakanda thing it's um to bundle up it is very cold outside if you live in the part of the country where i do winter is here it's not coming it's here and we are in the midst of it friends don't forget to plan your valentine day dates um i personally don't have a valentine i would love to have one but anyway um make sure you get those reservations in early make that other person um remember why or let that other person remember why or whatever that you love them so anyway I will see you guys in the next video. Take care, friends.